I'm Jake. And I'm Brock. And this is Smart Tech Reviews, brought to you by Smart Deploy, where we provide unbiased, unsponsored reviews of technology aimed at corporate environments. That's right. If sysadmins manage it, we review it. And today we're taking a look at the Logitech Brio 505 webcam. That's right. Let's dive into it. What do you say? I say let's go. All right, everybody, we're here to do a review. And today we're going to be reviewing a webcam. And what brand is that webcam, Brock? I mean, you don't even have to ask, right? You don't. You don't have to ask, and I'll tell you why. If you've ever used a webcam in your life, the odds that that webcam was... A Logitech. A Logitech is pretty high, right? And so this is a Logitech webcam. To, to provide a frame of reference, the Logitech webcam that I think most people use is the Logitech C920 or in that the, or one of the cameras in that series. Very popular webcam. You see it all over the place. It came out. It had a, a good feature list. It came out at the right price. So, I mean, it's it's one you're going to see a lot. Yeah, the C920, it's like 1080p recording, uh, streaming, and it sits at a price point of about 64 bucks. And so the webcam we're reviewing today is actually Logitech's Step Up from that webcam. The one we're going to be doing today is called the Logitech Brio 505, which also sounds like it could be the name of a uh, a nice pasta dish at a fancy uh, a fancy a very high-end Italian restaurant in New York City. I was City. thinking a cheese. Have you ever ordered the Brio 505? <laughs> exactly, yeah. right? It was delicious. Right. Coming out of the box, the first thing I can say about this webcam, Brock, is that I enjoy how it feels and how it looks. It's, it's just well cool. built. Like yeah. it's just a cool looking webcam. Like it has this cylindrical body with a integrated uh, webcam shutter that you can close and open very seamlessly just like that with a little dial on the side. So that's a really cool thing. Also, it has uh, a magnetic base that just comes out like so. Magic. It's very flexible in that regard. Very easy. And then once it's clamped on, you've got this swivel action going on, which is super nice. So yeah, just like form factor and build is just one thing that took me uh, right right away. I was into it. You know, and I look at it from like an IT perspective, mm -hmm. and I look at things like that, that build quality, how easy is it to set up on your monitor, um, how easy is it to put together, things like that is like, those are things that my users are going to have to deal with and are going to have to experience unless I'm setting it up for them. So I want that process to be seamless. I want it to be easy. I want them to be able to adjust it however they want to adjust it. So yeah. the, the build quality, the design and everything, this definitely takes webcams in general up a notch. I think we should just dive in and, and kind of show what this thing's all about. What let's do you think? Let's cut to it. All right, let's teleport. Ready? Yeah, usually because my window's right here. Oh, yeah. And like it's always snowy. It's like white and bright, and usually oh, this yeah. side of my face is just like blown just out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look how dark my side of the face is over here compared to the evenness of Jake's. Oh yeah, so it does have dual mics. There, it's two. It has two onboard mics with noise reduction. That's why you're getting that full sound. Oh, I wonder. Hey, do you have like a? I wonder if there's a way we could test that noise reduction. Listen to this. Did it make a sound? I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. Did it cancel that out? <laughs> it canceled the whole thing. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear, hear a single that thing. That was like a loud hit on the wall. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, that's pretty cool, though. Like, I, I kind of like that feature. Oh, it's super sweet. Yeah. All you got to do is tilt that webcam down, and it's like the perfect display for you. Yeah. And it's so cool that it, like, switches the camera automatically. And we're back. You got to see it in action. The The noise canceling is pretty insane. It's really good. I mean, I was I was so surprised when we first tested this out. Mm -hmm. He was chucking stuff all over his room and I heard nothing. I thought he was playing a joke on me, like muting it or something like that. But no, I mean, he's he's typing on his keyboard. He's throwing stuff against the wall. Literally not a sound came through. So if you're somewhere where you've got a lot of noise that you're dealing with and you don't want that picking up on the microphone, I mean, this mm -hmm. is your webcam. And that is something in like a Zoom meeting. I'm like, if I'm typing during the meeting, I'm like trying to like softly <laughs> like hit the keys. Right. But like with this, like you can just go for it. Like it's fine. You're not going to bother go anybody. Uh, we did notice though, as you saw, like if you're speaking while typing, it's that's going to come through. Right. Because it can't. Yeah. 
there's only so much that it can do there. But so uh, as far as connecting to your computer, uh, it does use a USB C connection, which we love to see. Yes, see. we do. That Get was it? that's fun. That dad was, jokes. That was a lot of fun. He's a dad. Dad jokes. Um, USB C. Uh, the only thing that we didn't like about it is that the cord actually was like was it, it seemed short. So you measured it, right? I measured it. Um, you do get five feet of cable here. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, for some desk setups, yeah. it won't be an issue. Five feet might be enough. But if you look, start looking at like standing desks, things like that, mm -hmm. it's not going to be long enough. You're going to have to look at either an extension or a different webcam altogether. But, you know, go on the extension route. If you plan that USB-C extension cables, yeah. $10. So really not a huge investment more to get that extra length and then you did see show mode we brought up show mode in the uh in the actual webcam video and that is something that is super cool that's you know just to show you the physical representation of how it works the camera goes like this right so you want to show something on your desk it literally goes like that automatically switches the camera very cool for teachers. And it took us a second to figure out what we were, what was happening, what we were seeing, you know, because as it swivels down, that orientation automatically flips mm -hmm. to what would be natural for the person presenting yeah, to the camera. Exactly. And we thought for a second you had to go through and find like something in the software and like turn on show mode. But no, it automatically turns on when you when you fold it forward 90 degrees. So. Show mode. It's cool. It's a really it's cool. cool feature. I mean, if you're yeah. like doing like unboxing videos, things like that, I mean, that is really cool to just yeah. be able to point it straight down. You can focus on what you have right there in front of you and show, you know, mm -hmm. your recording. So it's nice. Uh, in the in the footage, it might have looked a little blurry on show mode, but that was because we didn't have an object like right in front that it was going to pull focus on. But when we did test the focus, it pulls focus and holds it really nicely on an object. So don't right. worry about that. Yeah. I think the only other thing we need to talk about is the price point for the Logitech Brio 505. Like we talked about, uh, the Logitech C920 that a lot of people use is 64 bucks, right? Mm -hmm. So this is about twice the price. Right. This thing's sitting at 130. You're getting a better microphone. You're getting better video and quality. You're getting better uh, mounting uh, options. You're getting those show mode features and things like that. You're getting the noise canceling. You're getting the USB-C connection. So it's not like you're not paying mm -hmm. for those extra features, but it's just, is it worth it to you to pay twice as much for that yeah. set of features? If you're looking for a more full featured webcam, the uh, $130 may not be off putting. Uh, I personally, I think it's worth it. I think it's a good price for what you get. And this is, uh, <laughs> this is one of the first reviews uh, we've done where I'm like, can I just keep this? <laughs> like, I like it. I love right. how, how it looks in uh, in the the conference calls if I'm do, if I'm doing a little Twitch streaming or something like that it's a great camera for that I think with this webcam I got to drop our first our first nine out of ten that would be our highest rating to date what do you think do you agree but I gotta agree I mean this yeah. thing is cool it's it's a little pricey but mm -hmm. I think what you're getting for it I mean especially because so much of our 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 business is conducted online now nowadays with our meetings and whatnot That's right. i mean you you want to look good you need a good camera you need a good microphone i mean this is kind of all in one and takes care of like a lot of those needs so yeah i would agree i'd give it a nine nine out of ten for the logitech brio 505 i think that's going to do it for us today on smart tech reviews episode three thanks for sticking with us don't forget to like and subscribe smack that notification bell and uh, we're going to have reviews for other pieces of technology coming all the time. Uh, this is going to be an ongoing show. And right. We're excited and to bring you more tech. Make sure to leave that comment down there. Letting us know what you would like us to review next. I mean, the CES is over. We're getting a whole bunch of new items coming out that we would love to review. So let us know what you're looking forward to. What are you interested in buying? We'll get our hands on it. We'll review it for you and let you know if it's a good pick. Think. Yeah. If it's a good pick for your office. So with that. I'm Jake. I'm Brock. From Smart Deploy, and this has been Smart Tech Reviews. We'll catch you guys later.